Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily and this month we are going through the NYX Sugar Trip Advent Calendar every single day, creating a new look with the product of the day. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then make sure you subscribe, comment down below and give the video a like. Yesterday I uploaded a Primark haul also, so if you've missed that, I will link that down below in case you wanted a break from the makeup. So today's product is this matte lipstick in the shade Sorbet. As you can see, it's a blue colour, so I didn't use it on the lips. You could obviously use it on the lips, but I actually used it to do this graphic cut crease liner. Um, so yeah, I'm going to zoom in now on the eyes so you can see that. This is the look that I created for today's look. As you can see, it's quite graphic and bright and I really like it. This was inspired by an artist I follow on Instagram, so I will link them down below. But yeah, this is the look I created, so if you would like to see how to do this look, then carry on watching. So I have primed up my lids. Sorry if you can see that my lids are a bit stained. I did obviously do a pink eye look yesterday. Um, so my eyes are a tiny bit stained, but they are decently, you know, okay now. So I used the Ease a Primer Potion by Urban Decay. And I think I'm going to start by going in with the crease colour, which is the orange. So as you can tell, I've really been loving this specific shadow this month. I'm going to be going back in with this colour from the 25D by Morphe. And this is again called Mace. You will have seen I've used this quite a bit. And I'm literally just going to pack this through my crease into like a bit of a winged shape. And then just going to go in with a clean blending brush and just buff over these edges. I'm then going to use my concealer, but I'm just going to take that on a concealer brush and start cutting the crease. have this all cut out I'm going to apply a pink shade all over the lid and I'm going to use this shade here called Bella from the 25C and it's like a shimmery pink colour so I'm just going to leave this bit bare so it's easier to put the blue on but until then I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye and then I'll be back in a second so now we have both eyes with the cut creases done um, relatively even quite proud the lipstick which is the product of the day and it's this blue colour and this is in the shade Sorbet and as you can see it's a blue colour and I'm actually going to put this through the cut crease and do a winged liner with it and I'm just going to try and paint this on to the cut crease using a few different brushes I'm just going to experiment and see what works I'm just going to keep going over it until it's more opaque, but this is kind of the look we're going for so far. So now that the cut creases are done with the blue lipstick, you can go over it with an eyeshadow if you want to set it, but I think I'm just going to leave it as the lipstick, just because I'm not going to have it on for very long. But if you wanted it to last longer than you could, use an eyeshadow to set it in the same colour. And now I'm just going to do a winged liner with the same lipstick. So you could just do a light layer of mascara, but I'm going to add these lashes from Eldora. These are the H179s. Okay, so now I have done all of the skin makeup, as you can see. Um, here is a close-up of the eyes with the lashes on. I'm just going to take this brush that we used for the pink on the lid. And I'm literally just going to swoop this under the eye and smoke out any excess product that is on the brush. And then I'm just going to go in with the brush that we used for the orange colour with no extra product and I'm just going to buff along the lower lash line to blend that out. I'm going to apply some of this liquid shadow onto my inner corner because it's this beautiful like reflective iridescent like bluey pinky white colour. So I'm literally just going to apply some of this right on the inner corner. As you can see that gives like a really nice reflective blue highlight. I'm then just going to take some of the lipstick again on the same angled brush. I'm just going to put this into my waterline. So 
So these are the finished eyes. As you can see, I just put the blue in the waterline as well. You obviously could apply the blue to the lips, but I'm just going to use the Butter Gloss in Glazy Days again. So this is the finished look with the graphic liner and the colourful waterline. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and obviously if you have missed any of the other videos, I will link them down below as always. And I will see you again tomorrow with another tutorial.